What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian, and yes, I am back. And trust me, I am impressed too that I'm keeping my promise of releasing those videos every day right now. And just to clear the air in here, I actually have come back to Rappel's before I even test positive. So, don't worry about it, it's not just because of it. I actually have been in the game for the last few weeks, realized a lot of changes that happened in the game since I left, and I am also changing the way I play the game right now. And I'll talk a little bit about that in this video and also give some information for former players and new players of what they have to do to actually get back in the game. And you know what? Now is a great time to remind you guys that if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and hit that notification bell so you can see all the new content coming up in the channel. Alright, for former players, one thing I do have to tell you guys, I'm so sorry if you guys used to play at Webzin and you have not transferred your account, you have lost your characters. A lot of people also have been, a lot of people have messaged me and talking about how they try to download the game from the Webzin website. So just so you guys know, it uh, the game has changed publishers and right now, they are with Play2Bit, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to be able to download the game, new and old players. Uh, the game has evolved to something very centered to end game right now. So it will be a ground for you guys. You will not see much of the new content until you get close to level 200. I would expect right now with the new level cap that the grind was slightly better. But yeah, no luck on that, and you guys are gonna have to spend a good amount of time trying to get those levels. Another big change I realize is that unless you're in a guild, it's been very hard for people to be able to get parties to go into Devil Dawn. What seems to be making a lot harder for you to be able to actually get to those levels. Um, I think the best thing is try to log as much as possible and try to get those groups going or spend a lot of time or money to be able to actually solo by yourself. Now, there's also, for you guys to know, a new TP quest, and I'm probably gonna make a video later on about it, but what they involve is the old content of the game. Now, if you played for a long time, you remember Epic 3, 4, you had to do a lot of the quests given by the NPCs to be able to actually get enough XP because before we had a lot of the dungeons, grinding for XP was really a pain. So, right now, the game's kind of revisiting a lot of those quests, and the reason is for you to be able to complete those new TP quests, what you have to do is complete those old quests that you should have done when you're level 20, 30, 40, 60. And I can tell you in advance, since uh, Russian, my character, had not done those quests, it took me a good amount of hours to be able to finish off them. All right, so now let's address the elephant in the room, okay? I mentioned you guys, I changed the way I play. And the reason is because for the last few years doing Rappel's news, I have mostly tested characters, uh, different classes, events, and things like this. What actually kind of gave me a little bit of trouble because it got my main character stuck at level 184. Most of my armor and equipment were plus 24, plus 23, and this was because I had other characters that also needed half-decent equipment. So from now on, I am actually concentrating only in one character, at least for now. So I took one other plus 24 weapon that I had in another character and I actually made the trade-off to put my main weapon to plus 25. Also, I took my plus 23 helmet and added some food armor so I could actually get a plus 24. Now I'm working on getting my plus 25 armor and as soon 
as the shop has a sale on blast deal repair I am probably going to try to get my gloves and my boots level 2 at least plus 22 one other thing that I'm actually working on right now gonna be my belt I'm not really sure if I should just get a Deva belt or if I should just wait until I can get the Yeshiva's belt. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm working on right now is uh, just getting better equipment so I can start soloing dungeons more efficiently. Now let me talk a little bit about the new publisher. Um, so we had a few changes in the last couple of years on publishers. What for me... Uh, kind of, uh, it's kind of innervating because I did like Webzen, I had a good relationship with the guys in there, and those changes kind of affected me, as I mentioned in another video. Now, Play2Bit actually has been doing a fairly good job um, when it goes related to events. You seem to be having events every single week. Um, it can be from just uh, plus 10%, plus 30%, plus something on Tamming upgrading equipment and we're gonna have next week coming up I believe it's a plus 30% XP so kudos for play to bit to be doing that stuff um, I've seen a lot of events lately and that makes me very happy and I think it's something that can get a lot of the old players back in the game and new players as well so yeah guys I'm pretty excited to be back in the game I hope you all are doing well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this uh, format. As you know, I am sick right now, so things are a little bit different right now. And also let me know if you guys want me to keep talking about repels. And again, guys, if you got to this point of the video, you guys are legends. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the game.